Part 1. In a big green meadow under a bright sunny sky, little Milo Mouse lived in a cozy warm house. One day, while playing hide-and-seek with his friends, a soft glowing light peeked through a small crack in the attic. What could that be? thought Milo with wide curious eyes. Sneaking away from his giggling friends, Milo tiptoed to the attic where he found a tiny old box covered in dust and spiderwebs. With a gentle push, the box creaked open, revealing a shiny, strange thing. It was a harmonica. Wow, exclaimed Milo, his tiny hands holding it up to the light. He had never seen such a thing before. It was silver with many holes, and it sparkled like a star. Milo blew into it gently, and a funny sound came out, making him giggle. I want to learn how to play this, he decided with a nod. And that's how Milo's musical adventure began, in that sun-kissed meadow with a harmonica in his paw and dreams as big as the sky. After finding the harmonica, Milo wondered, how do I make music? He thought the best way to learn was to ask his friends. So off Milo went, harmonica in paw, to find Benny the bird, who loved to sing every morning. Benny, can you help me play this? Milo asked, showing his new treasure. Benny chirped happily. Of course, Milo. Music is like singing. You just need to feel the song in your heart. Benny sang a sweet tune, and Milo tried to play along. Next, Milo visited Freda the Frog, who had a big, bouncy drum. Music is about rhythm, like the raindrops falling or your heart beating, Frida ribbited, playing her drum while Milo blew into the harmonica. It sounded funny at first, but slowly Milo started to understand. Lastly, Milo met Oliver the Owl, who was wise and played a gentle flute. Music is about sharing stories, feelings, and dreams, Oliver hooted softly. They played together, the flute and the harmonica, creating a calm, nighttime song. Milo felt happy and thankful. He learned that music could be like singing, like the rhythm of rain, and like sharing stories. With a little help from his friends, Milo was ready to practice and maybe, one day, play a tune that was just his own. After learning from his friends, Milo practiced every day. He tried to make music like the singing birds, the rhythmic rain, and the storytelling wind. But playing the harmonica was harder than he thought. One afternoon, as he sat under a big shady tree, Milo tried to play a tune for his friends. He took a deep breath, puffed out his cheeks, and blew into the harmonica. But instead of beautiful music, only strange, squeaky sounds came out. Milo felt his ears get hot and his heart sink. I'll never be able to play, he sighed, looking down at the harmonica. His friends gathered around him, seeing how sad Milo was. Don't give up, Milo, Benny chirped. It's okay, croaked Frida. Learning something new can be tough. Oliver added, we all hit sour notes sometimes, but every great musician started there. But despite their kind words, Milo felt disappointed. He wondered if maybe some dreams were too big for a little mouse. That night, Milo placed the harmonica on his bedside table, feeling unsure if he should try again. The moon shone softly through the window, casting a comforting glow over Milo as he curled up, feeling too sad to dream about music. The next day, Milo woke up to find his friends outside his door. They had brought their own instruments and wide smiles. We're going to help you, Benny chirped. Everyone start somewhere, Freda ribbited. And friends help friends, hooted Oliver. With that, they all sat in a circle under the big shady tree. Benny sang a tune, Frida tapped her drum, and Oliver played his flute softly. Your turn, Milo, they all said. Milo looked at his harmonica, then at his friends. He didn't want to disappoint them again, but seeing their encouraging smiles made his heart feel a bit lighter. So he picked up the harmonica, took a deep breath, and slowly started to play. At first it was just one note, then two. To his surprise, the squeaky sounds began to melt away. Each note started to sound clearer, sweeter, and happier. Milo couldn't believe it. He was making music, real music, and it was beautiful. His friends cheered and danced, and Milo kept playing, his fears forgotten. He realized that it was okay to make mistakes, because that's how you learn and get better. With his friends by his side, he felt he could do anything. That day, Milo learned that with a little help, practice, and love, he could share his melody with the world. With newfound confidence, Milo played his harmonica every day. He played for the sun when it rose, filling the meadow with soft, glowing tunes. He played for the flowers, their petals swaying as if dancing to Milo's melodies. Even the busy ants paused to listen. One sunny afternoon, all the meadow creatures gathered to hear Milo perform. 
They sat on the soft grass, buzzing with excitement. Milo felt a little nervous, but he looked at his friends. Benny nodded, Freda smiled, and Oliver winked. I can do this, thought Milo. He took a deep breath and began to play. The notes floated through the meadow, sweet and clear. It was a song of sunny days, of laughter and of friendship. Everyone listened, enchanted by the beautiful music. When the song ended, the meadow erupted in cheers. Milo beamed with joy. You did it, Milo, his friends exclaimed, hugging him. Your music brought us all together, said a grateful butterfly. That night, the stars seemed to shine a little brighter, and the meadow slept peacefully, wrapped in the memory of Milo's melody. Milo realized the best music came from the heart, and that sharing it with others was the greatest joy of all. And so, with his harmonica and friends by his side, Milo was ready for many more musical adventures in the meadow. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.